Hi, welcome to the small shed. Got a couple of repairs this Saturday that uh, are probably a bit more significant than just a bit of a repair. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Now, as usual, these repair jobs, they crop up on a fairly regular basis. But these are things that happened in the last two or three weeks while I've been knocked out with COVID. And I think there's a significance that I mentioned later on that uh, this is the first time I've really been out in the shed and done anything for a week or two. So um, it's quite good to see that I'm sort of feeling better in myself and back on the road I think. Uh, we're going to start off with just a silly little job that my wife needed doing on a little sandwich carrier thing that she's got that had broken. Again the usual sort of story that it's something that's not really particularly valuable or anything but it's just a waste to just throw these things away. And the other thing was the base for my router that I dropped the other day, well a year or two ago now and that needs replacing so we'll see uh, see how we get on making a new one for that right got a very quick first job one of those things that's hardly worth doing but this is my wife's um, we've both got little sandwich bags to take stuff if we go to like men in sheds or she goes to a quilting the lining's got all ripped on it it's like a tin foil and uh, I she, she said oh we'll chuck it away I said well it's worth just seeing if we can stretch it out a bit longer they don't cost a lot and they're made of recycled stuff themselves but again I just don't like to see waste so I thought and I may be wrong if I can tuck some double-sided tape underneath this and get it to stick to the lining which is like a plastic and then peel off and then push it back down again we'll get somewhere with it but I don't know as usual same rules as usual I've got nothing to lose just got a bit of double-sided tape cut a piece off about the right size and then see if I can tuck it in without getting any more damage than we've already got to the foil certainly wants to stick to the backing, that's encouraging. I just can't quite get it to go in the corner. That's better. So, push that in there. Push it underneath the other side. Tuck it in. nicely. So all I need to do now is try and get that paper off the back of the double sided tape. And then we can just smooth everything down. So that sort of surrounding, it's gone down, it seems to have stuck down nicely. Job done. Simple, quick, you wouldn't know there was a problem. It'll get another, I don't know, year or two's use out of it. Same as usual. Repurpose, recycle and all that. So, job done. Now this is not so much a repair as a replacement really, I, I dropped the uh, router months ago and broke the plate that I'd got for doing hand routering and so it's time to get that done. Fairly straightforward replacement, I'm just going to glue the bits together first, temporarily and then I think I'm just going to glue it to the surface of the replacement material I've got and hopefully that will give me a template to work with that I can um, just cut out around 
so we'll just stick a little bit on there and it gives me a position for all of the um, holes that I need to do and then it, the actual paper will peel off or the plastic covering will peel off and I can uh, just work on the replacement then underneath uh, there's a line to make up because it's not complete so I'm going to just fill that line in reasonably right and then we'll just get the drill right and then we'll mark out the center hole because it's not symmetrical on the Katsu router you can see that compared to those holes there that is way off center I don't know quite why that is, but let's we'll see what we've got in the way of force and the bits for that. Right, I've polished the edges up on the grinder just to get a decent finish on them, but it's not really necessary, but again, it's nice just to do things tidily. So we'll just peel the backing off on this side and we can get the knobs on. Um, one of the downsides by the look of it, of polishing the edges, is that it melts the... Um, this back in. So it's difficult to pull it off but never mind we've got there so we can put one of those on there <clears throat> really un the only thing it needs to do is make sure that those screws are below the level of the perspex otherwise they catch <clears throat> should really use polycarbonate for this it would have been a more substantial material because when you drop it it just bounces but um, I haven't got anything at the moment that was of a suitable thickness that's it the side off 
There we are, as good as new. You can pop that back onto the router. See if we've got the holes in the right place. I only used two nuts, uh, two bolts on it anyway, because I'm using the other two for the knobs at the moment. So I've only ever usually stuck two knobs on, uh, two screws in. <coughs> but again, make sure it's below the surface. No, those two aren't quite right. Need to come out a little bit deeper. Good to see because that's actually the first project I've done since Covid hit so I have uh, feel I've not only achieved something it's a tiny little milestone in getting better I think. I woke up this morning feeling a bit better and um, it's translating into a, a finished job that's been needing to be done for a long long time good so that's that done ready for use replaced broken old plate so there we are a couple of silly little repairs but uh, as I said at the beginning quite significant in that it's the first time I've really wanted to come out and do anything out here still coughing and spluttering a lot still finding that you're up one day and down the next when I've had the normal sort of man flu that you know is serious and takes me out for three days or something like that you then start to get better on a, a gradual sort of incremental basis the thing I've noticed with Covid certainly my wife and myself and others have said it that you'll be starting to get better and then you'll go backwards so I'll have a day when I feel a lot better and then the next day I can hardly breathe and um, you also haven't got the stamina I've been out in the shed this afternoon done about an hour and a half's work and I'm absolutely wiped out so um, I think we're on the way back anyway hopefully we'll uh, do something different next week and I look forward to seeing you then bye <laughs>